Welcome back to DBL. It's time for Fifth Host with news literally at our fingertips. Doctors have come up with a new diagnosis. It's called Headline Stress Disorder. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> We had planned that. Nice. That's when a, a lot of alarming or negative news triggers anxiety, leaving you feeling worried and helpless. So, DBL Nation, does bad news stress you out? Okay, Julie from Facebook says, it isn't the headlines. It's having a lunatic in charge that has everyone stressed out. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I thought we weren't going to talk about <laughs> Trump today. Listen, I really do. I worked in news for years, and so you get stressed out by constantly seeing this news. And sometimes I do have to take a break. Even like right now, I haven't been on Instagram in a while. You just take a break from social media, from news, and you come back to it with an open mind because you need to know what's going on and stay informed, but it's also good to step back for a minute. That's nice. All right, Brendan from Facebook says, I have the news on 24-7, 365. I'm addicted and I don't want to miss a thing. I hope you're watching DBL. We shoot six live shows a day and you can't get any <laughs> stress disorder with this show. <laughs> My boss is right there. I hope I get a raise. <laughs> um, but I, I look at it, I, I, I agree, because every time you watch the news, you see someone go, it's the first thing someone says is, where is this world coming to? Mm -hmm. what, what's going on in this world? It's been like that for a long time, but like you said, we do have our news at our fingertips. So after a long day here at DBL, when we do these, uh, these hard-hitting uh, stories, I go home and honestly, it's I either watch it. Planet Earth or some sort of Earth documentary or Family Guy, because yeah. I just want to decompress from I'm watching Family Guy it. too now. Family Guy is awesome. That's amazing. Well, yeah. Max from Facebook says, frankly, this wasn't a problem for me with prior administrations. Max, I think that's a really good point, but I want you to think a little bit more contextually. That's because when we had a civil war in 1863, Twitter wasn't there. Imagine half the country literally going to war with each other and having Twitter. It's not that the things have changed, it's that the way we get our information has changed and it's constant. I read a book called Indistractable and it literally shows you how to change your phone screen so it's not always popping up with notices. Mm. I've been having a lot of anxiety from the show. I've been very open about it with Trump and all of that. I also am thinking of having kids and this world is very, very scary. And so there's an, a ton of anxiety on me. So I definitely have this disorder. Go ahead, Lens. Okay, Shauna from Facebook says, sometimes you have to unplug and go for a walk. Yeah. We're on overload and we have to make a conscious choice to tune out sometimes. Yeah, I agree. And sometimes it's really heavy. Like even when um, Trayvon first was killed and then there was a slew of African-American killings after that, I worked in a news building and I literally didn't turn on the TV when I left because the news was too heartbreaking right. every single day. So I think that sometimes you really do have to just say, I'm not going to do this today. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's get this last one. Jennifer from Facebook says, 2019 was the year of headline stress disorder. Well, guess what, Jennifer? 2020 is too blessed to be stressed. That's like all. It. Like you, you just have to, at these times, you got to look at the things that are positive in your life, you yeah, know, because we do. can't stop life from happening. And also, I read somewhere, if you close your media, social media at like six, like it's a shop, you have to explore other ways of entertaining yourself. It's much healthier.